Hey, this is Anthony from Revzilla TV, where you can watch, decide, and ride. Welcome to our detailed breakdown of the new Climb Rally Air Jacket, available at Revzilla.com. To my left, I have Peter wearing the Rally Air Jacket. The theme here is bomb-proof and breathable. Years ago, we saw Climb do the first iteration of the Adventure Rally Jacket. Four-season, hardcore, ride it around the world. What they found was that the riders using it, there was a great condition, contingent that wanted to ride it into cooler weather, wanted to ride it true four-season, but there was a huge contingent that wanted to do a mixture of hardcore off-roading, hardcore long-distance touring, but ride it in more warm weather scenarios. Hence, we end up with the Rally Air. Three-season, warm weather, built exclusively of mo some of the most high-end, most abrasion-resistant materials on the market. So you can see Peter to my left. I'm gonna give you a quick minute on sizing because there's a lot going on here, and then we're gonna dive into the nuance. Peter's six foot, 195, 42 inch chest. He's wearing a size large. It fits generous, it fits American, it should fit. There's a lot of adjustability here. Keep that in mind, remember we ship for free. And as I walk through the rest of this bad boy, also keep in mind, I'd love to answer your questions on our YouTube channel. Make sure you subscribe to us, stay up to date with our latest gear review videos. Diving into the jacket itself. Remember, I mentioned breathability, and they're using carbonite Kevlar mesh from Climb. So we saw the first time with carbonite, Kev carbonite mesh on the induction jacket. This is carbonite Kevlar. This stuff is insane. Like compared to a normal poly mesh, this is made of Kevlar strands. It will breathe, it will flow a ton of air. It's basically a mesh jacket on steroids. Now you can see that in the gray areas of the main construction. You can see they've even infused, infused reflectivity in some of these panels. When you move past that, you see other materials. In the shoulders, in the elbows, you're going to see super fabric on top of Kevlar panels. Now super fabric, tiny ceramic, ceramically welded, laser welded ceramic plates. There we go, there we go. And that's gonna be 14 times more abrasion resistant than your typical Kevlar or leather. Again, promoting the ability to slide at great distance at a high speed crash and keep all of your limbs intact and never burn through. It dissipates heat as well because it's made out of ceramic. You're also going to see stretchability in areas that are less impact prone. You see that under the arms, you'll see it in the elbows. You also see it in areas on the back. Other carbonite mesh panels across the midsection, one color available here. This is going to be your silver version. Notice it ties together nicely with the pants. And keep in mind too, this is top of the food chain type of stuff. This is gonna be falling into that $1,300-ish range. Now, if you said, well, Anthony, the Adventure Rally is a true four season piece. It's Gore-Tex, it's waterproof and breathable. This guy's just a little bit less expensive, but I'm only getting three seasons out of it. You do have the option by using the new Gore Overshell, which is purchased separately from Klein. That's stretch Gore-Tex meant to go right over the suit as well as stow. You can buy that both for the jacket as well as the pants. And check that out, that is the Gore Overshell. It fits in the stow pocket. It's meant to work with this guy. Now, in staying with the theme, kind of the big pieces here on the external or the protection pieces on the outside of this jacket, it's also using, just like the new Adventure Rally, it's using the D3O Zergo armor, top of the food chain armor. It's going to be have the widest temperature range of comfortability. And remember, D3O is molecular and on impact, the molecules align, dispersing that energy, and it absorbs that energy, that impact. They're also claiming that the new D3O Zergo armor, as well as being the biggest armor, it's also going to be a bit future-proofed as we see a new CE Level 2 standard for limbs, so shoulders, and elbows, and then the back protector included here on the Rally Air is going to be the Viper Pro, which is also CE Level 2. Now I happen to have two pieces of D3O armor. I have my normal hardcore D3O T5 Evo Pro armor that you'd see in the induction. And this is the same, this is a knee off of the induction air, which is gonna be the Zergo. Look at how different these are. Look at the profile, the side, how thick they are. They're asymmetrical. They are completely ridiculous just from a thickness standpoint. Again, this is the Zergo. This is what's going to be shoulders, elbows, knees. You're going to see it in the hips. You're gonna see it in the back protector. Again, D3 over, D3O T5 Evo Pro armor is awesome. The Zergo is just completely out of control. It's the most bomb-proof armor that we've seen in anything, including some of the Ruka gear that we've seen. So, if we look at some of the other new Nuances here. Notice that there's a zip on this collar. It's a zip off. It's meant to be used with a Liat neck brace. So you can install that table there. Here we have the GPX. You can see the way that it integrates with the jacket. The nice part with the removable collar is they can integrate seamlessly together. And again, they're using YKK zippers throughout, big pulls that you can use with gloves. Again, Pits hard's leather at any of the areas around the trim, so collar as well as down here along the cuffs of the sleeves. You do have some adjustability. And again, we talked a little bit about fit, 
but again, able to cinch it in. And notice they're using a lighter weight poly mesh or nylon mesh because it's such an impact-free area, the crooks of the elbows. You see that on the pants a little bit as well. So again, the theme here is just breathability completely through this armor while putting together a jacket that's really going to do everything as you traverse Mongolia on your KLR if that's really your ticket. Now, as we look at it, I'm going to turn the face away from me. I want to go into some of the other nuances here. Notice the reflectivity infused, the super fabric that goes all the way down. Again, stretch panels on the back side here of the elbow. Lift your arm really quickly, more, more reflectivity, more stretch under the arm. Notice the way the side goes together. And if I unzip this, all of the pockets on this actually go backwards. They're designed to be more accessible as you're reaching for them, depending on the posture that you're on your bike. And again, super hardcore bomb proof adventure. Turn backwards for me. The back has a rabbit pouch, which will hold the overshell, that gore overshell I talked about. And you'll take a three liter hydration system that would work its way in here. It would hang, you would, snake the, you would snake the tube up and onto the front. That was that removable clip. So you have that option as well. A huge amount of volumetric storage here on the Rally Air Jacket. Notice even into the seat, it comes down. It has a 360 degree zip. It will link up with the, the, the Rally Air pants. Again, we haven't really seen anything like this yet from any manufacturer. Notice the zipper on the collar goes all the way around, and you do have a little bit of a cinch, so you can cinch down that high collar if you get hit with a cloudburst. The cool part about that Gore Overshell, too, is that it even has an additional collar for the neck, so you're going to be able to keep it completely waterproof and breathable. So come back around to the front for me, Peter. Let me hit him with all the surprises. So once you get past the pockets, right, you get past all the storage, you're talking about storing that much stuff on your, on your person. Here's the beauty of what Climb has done, because they know when you start to load up an outer shell in a jacket that much, you really need to support that weight correctly. You know, we've seen the guys at Climb do it, we've seen the guys at Krieger do it in their packs. You wanna get that load onto your sternum and onto your back. You don't want it on your collarbone, you don't want it on your shoulders, that will introduce unnecessary fatigue. So what you have built into this jacket is you start to load it up, and notice my collar here, micro Velcro, YKK zips, I'm gonna open it up, notice it's fleece lined at the, color, at the collar. What you have is a fully ergonomic, removable harness system that is going to transfer that weight into the proper areas of your body and get that load off of your shoulders like a, like a crappy backpack would. So what you have is removable kidney belt built into this bad boy. You're gonna see the chest harness here. And notice that on this jacket, what they've done with the new Rally Air as well as the Adventure Rally is they're using this Deflexion armor, which is a silicon armor that again, isn't like a D3O, but it's an aerated panel that just gives you another area of stiff protection that has some give to it. They're giving you full sternum protection, but notice how all-encompassing this is. It goes all the way down under the ribs. Again, just almost like full plate armor onto the front because sternum in injuries are to the motorcycle jacket, to the body, like face and jaw injuries are to the motorcycle helmet jawline. Again, that frontal impact is really one of the more accident prone areas. Now you can see here, if you look at in the interior guts of this bad boy, mesh lining on the inside meant to promote airflow, YKK zips, a lot of smaller pockets, even your iPod pocket. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna undo it. I'm gonna show you how this comes apart. There's my deflection. There's my kidney belt, and notice how it all opens up. And remember, it's completely removable. And what I want to show you really quickly, if you can see it, if you come in here tightly, there's my harness that goes up and over Peter's back. It goes up over his collarbone onto the back. And again, that's that baked in harness that distributes the load properly. Notice too, stretch 360 degree zip to move it together. And one of the cooler parts is if you want to move, remove your deflection, but you want to keep that, the kidney belt in if you want to use it, if you start to get fatigued, remember that kidney belt just kind of keeps everything in place. Notice there are sleeves on the side here. So you just tuck that kidney belt away. There's also a hidden passport pocket in this bad boy as well. And while you have it open, you might as well look at the top of the pant here. Notice this is the Rally Air pant from Climb, meant to match with this jacket and again be bomb proof. Remember there's that Gore overshell that comes with that as well. And the fitment on all this stuff, as I said, is American. So Peter typically is a 34, 36 inch waist. He's wearing a size 34 in these pants. There's plenty of, plenty of room. You can bring that down for me. Also of note, you're going to have a roll top dry bag. They're giving you this. They know this is, there's nothing waterproof about this bomb proof carbonite Kevlar mesh jacket. So they're giving you a roll top dry bag that is ripstop. Notice there's a clip for it that you can stick right in there. And I believe there's always a shock cord here on climb stuff. Again, depending on if you're how ruggedly off-road you're riding. So my quick opinion on this bad boy. 
I like the original Adventure Rally. A rally. I love the new Adventure Rally. I think it's a nice, clean line. This guy, for me, is very barrel-chested. So if we zip Peter back up, go ahead and zip it back up, Peter, and notice it is a two-way zipper there. You're gonna see the fit side of this guy really be broad, really be barrel. It's not that European fit. It's that off-road American cut. Again, barrel-chested, especially with your deflection armor inside. But again, you're trading some of that svelte style for the ergonomics for the bomb proofness for all of that protection. Now I will say, if you decide to buy the Gore Overshell separately and make this truly and truly give yourself that stretch Gore-Tex rain suit to go with this, you do have all the seasons covered. You have the cold weather covered. You, and remember, Climb is modular. You wear whatever base layers that are technical that you'd want to wear and you get them from Climb. You have the hot season covered and then you can instantly turn off the air conditioning as well as shield yourself from Mother Nature. But you're going to spend more than just buying your typical adventure rally right out of the gates and when it's hot, opening up the vents. But you will be much, much cooler on this bad boy. Again, over the top, even the guys out of Finland, we haven't seen them do a piece like this that's this technical. Climb continues to push the barrier, and I'm sure the rally air will do really, really well. We're excited for the next hot season. We're excited to take it out and put it through its paces, really beat on it. But honest to God, I would just want to wear it and then go do a moonwalk with it because it's really space age using the best of what's available, and I love that they managed to work the Zergo armor into it as well. The next step in your journey is to click right here. Read other rider reviews at RevZilla.com. You don't have to take my word for it. Always also watch the detailed breakdown we have on the pants at RevZilla TV. As always, we'll ship for free, and if you want to talk to a gear geek, see us at RevZilla.com or 877-792-9455. Thanks for watching our detailed breakdown of the new Climb Rally Air. I'm Anthony. We'll see you next time.